All right, let's get to it. The Legend of Zelda. Period. The actual, that's it, it's just the legend. So, we're going to be starting a new game. If you happen to enter the word Zelda, I believe, unless I'm getting it really wrong, and I'm sure someone in the comments can correct me, you can start on the hard mode. It's either Zelda or Link, I always forget. It's probably Zelda. Anyway, we don't want to do that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Blue. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's not very many buttons uh, on the NES. This is actually probably the first NES game that I have um, that I have recorded or streamed. And we're probably going to run out of letters for our name, but that's okay. At least it lets you put more than five letters in for your names, like certain other RPGs. Okay. Select, 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 register with start. There we go. You just have to imagine the low at the end. Let's go. Now, many an internet meme has come from this game, so be prepared. You begin with a shield. That's about it. You got three hearts. I don't even think there's half hearts. I think it's just, that's it, three hearts. So, <clears throat> it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. And the old man gives us a wooden sword and dies. It's very sad. It was his last act as a living man is to give us his sword. All right, so that's uh, that's been in a few memes, I believe, one or two. So then we got a magic sword. I mean, it's just wood, but we can shoot laser swords that explode. It's pretty cool. All right, so these guys, I forget the names of all these things. I think they're Octrots or something like that. The names for Zelda games are traditionally ridiculously hard to remember. Like, they don't make any sense at all. Oh, that was good, walking into it. Okay, so there is half hearts, so that's that's been proven true. We got two bucks, two rupees. And if I understand the exchange value between a, a dollar and a rupee, it's not good. Um, so we don't have very much money. Um, you could buy a bigger shield for a lot of money, a key, or a candle. We want the candle. We don't have to get the candle first, but it is, you know, if you want to make your first dungeon easy, you could go get the candle. Also, notice in the top left the map. It's not like, you know, these custom waypoint type maps you guys might be used to in uh, modern games. Um, it's just a dot on a gray screen. Oh man, I'm getting hit. Getting my buck kicked. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna go to the first dungeon. It's very open world. In fact, it's 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 the least linear Zelda game of them all by a long stretch. For anybody that thinks Zelda's bad because it's too linear, you just play this one. You can go wherever you want. You can get like the best the best sword in the game before you go to the first dungeon if you want. It takes a while. There is a certain level of farming. Oh man, am I gonna die right away? This would be very bad. It's been a long time since I played. Anyway, our shield can't block those, uh, flashy bull bullets. Okay, uh, oh! Oh, I got hit again. I was trying to dodge. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Get a heart! Yes! Okay, you can't dodge those. I oh, can't block those. Alright, and as usual, blue enemies are stronger than red enemies. That's the way it is. Alright, so we found Dungeon 1. You know. Oh, man, my timing is just horrible. All right, dungeon one, let's go. You may have heard the dungeon music before. It's worse with the beeping. Yeah, get a life. I believe, uh, in fact, the meme, if it is a meme, for the entire Extra Life charity is derived from Zelda 1. So, you know how it goes. So donate money so that kids have more than a single heart to go off of. I don't know if that works. Donate to get them a new sword so they have a better than a wooden sword. So skeletons aren't that tough. They're okay. Stalfos, sorry. These are the original Stalfos. All right, so we got a couple keys. We got a spare. Secondary heart, yeah. That way they only pass out when you kill them. You can revive them with a medic. 
Money for shields? Might work. Oh, you got me. <laughs> it's been a long time since I played this. I'm expecting to die a few times today. Um, wow. This is... It's just been so long since I played a completely top-down game like this. Alright. Whew. We got a key again. Now we really need some hearts. Alright. Bats, I believe, are called keys? 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 Bats are keys and ropes are snakes? It's something like that. It's confusing. I'm not dead yet. Now we fight... I think they're dots. Something like that. No! Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> the chat is working fine. I can read it. What are you talking about? Oh, is it not updating on the street on the video? That might be a thing. Yeah, okay. Hold on, hold on. Back with 90% more chat! Apparently, I was just talking to myself for the first few minutes as far as YouTube is concerned. Alright, now... There's the map. I think we can make it. Come on, don't run away. It's very touchy. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Aha, another room done. Alright, we got a map. So this is the genie in the bottle lamp. The genie in a bottle. Genie in a lamp map? Maybe bottle lamp, whatever you want to call it. Also, if you play the, uh, the Binding of Isaac, you can... You could say that like the majority of the map design is probably from this game. I was doing good, and then we died. Wow. So noob. Anyway, the nice thing about this game, especially back when it was first released, is it actually had a save cart on it, as opposed to like all the other games at this time. Oh, and once you got your sword, that's right. Just never get hit, and it's much, much easier. I remember. And uh, it does actually save your progress, unlike a lot of the old games. So, even if you die, it's not like restart from the beginning kind of deal, which a lot of games were. And now they give me hearts, so I don't need them. It won't be too long before we get a, a secondary weapon for the B slot. Those will be a good days. Those will be good times. I was almost there. Check out this room, see what it is. Oh good, the compass. You don't need to get the compass, obviously. Like most Zelda games, you don't need the map or the compass to finish the dungeon. It's just helpful if you want it. Luckily, in this game, when you pick up the compass, it does not talk to you for 10 seconds about what the compass does. This game, it just figures you can, you, you can sort it out. Can you guys guess what the compass does in this game without having to explain it? with an annoying fairy. I mean, I'm pretty sure the instruction manual explains it as well if you really want, but... I bet you you can figure it out. So before we go through that door towards the glowing red mark on the map that the compass put, we're gonna head sort of up or north, perhaps. Alright, probably get this key. It's, it's a very large key or a very small skeleton, depending on how you look at it. Alright, then there's these guys. I can't remember their names. They're just the boomerang dudes. They shoot boomerangs. Throw boomerangs, I guess. I suppose all the Australians will be waking up before too much longer. Or, yeah, somewhere around then. Maybe they woke up by now. The compass does not show you the way north. That's crazy talk. Oh, oh I made it! Got them moves. Alright. So, one of the things, of course, that's a staple for all Zelda games is, uh, they always have a weapon that you can get in each in each area. So we got a bow. Um, what good is a bow? Apparently not very good if I can't move over. Select it. Apparently the bow is no good, so we just got a bow. It's decorative. I think the truth is you need arrows to go with the bow before you can equip it. It's pretty frustrating. The first item you get in the first Zelda game is an item you can't use on its own. It's pretty bad. I suppose 
It is true, in real life, a compass is basically to direct you, well, north, east, south, west, whatever, so you can tell direction. But it still, it does tell you a direction. It tells you where something is. Compass may tell you where north is in real life. This tells you where something else is in real life. Well, in the real video game life. If I can finish this dungeon with 60 rupees, this will be perfect. Anyway, this is the real item you want. It's not even the dungeon item, but the boomerang is amazing. You can throw it diagonally, you can throw it normal, it follows you around. It doesn't kill a lot of enemies, but it does stun most things. Okay, this is scary. These hands take you to the beginning of the dungeon. They're very frightening when you start. Plus, what's that noise in the background? Did you hear it? No, guys. Be war- be scared! It's the first boss! He's very scary. He's a unicorn dragon. He's pretty tough. And, um... He's getting us. He's shooting his fireball. Aww. Now, if you don't have the long-range sword, it's not quite so easy. <laughs> anyway. The Triforce. Remember the whole point of the game is to get these things? This is what the compass tells you to get. <laughs> anyway, one down. That's one dungeon finished. Eight to go. I think we're off to a pretty good start. Didn't get quite as much money as I might have preferred, although that helps. job is to play the games. Someone else needs to find people to come watch the games. I think that's the way it should work. <laughs> Lots of money. We're rich. Alright, 60 rupees. It's a pretty cheap candle, to be honest. It's probably like, not even a whole dollar in real money. <laughs> well, I mean, rupees are real money, just where I live, they don't count. So we got a, a candle, and what can you do with the candle? Well, let's try it out. Like the candle and you burn stuff down now unfortunately this is a sort of once per it has to recharge candle like the, the flame goes out pretty easily you can only use it once every now and then basically once per map once per area so what happens is when you're a little kid and you find out that the candle kills stuff you start using it all over the place and then you start finding oh it actually burns down trees as well and you find all the secrets like, well, oh, a lot of the secrets like this. So this is where the It's a Secret to Everybody comes from. And you get 10 bucks. It's paid for some of the castle. The candle will definitely pay for itself. More than easily. Now, I think... Oops, that was the wrong direction. I believe there's a tree you can burn right on the top here. Now, I may look like a goofball here a couple times because... I think I remember where they are, and then I don't actually for sure know. Trust me when I say there's lots of trees. But I know there's one on this map. <laughs> it's probably like somewhere around here. There it is. Okay. It's gonna take me a bit. This is the important one. All right, this is what counts. <laughs> there may have been one on the other screen. I think there's only one per screen is kind of the rule. So you can take some medicine. This will fully heal your HP one time. Or you could take a permanent plus one eight heart. Does anyone ever think that 
one full health potion is better than permanent HP? You crazy! Oh no, I got hit! Well, now we're in trouble. Oh, now we're in trouble! I need a heart! Someone extra life me! Oh, I missed it again. You know, it must have been one over. I I definitely used to know... Oh man, the, yeah, the fire can hurt yourself. <laughs> That's pretty pro. I used to know where, like, every single one of these were. It's kind of disappointing now. There it is. I knew there was one near there. It's a secret to everybody. Now, not every one of these holes you find happens to have money in it. Some of them, or, or a treasure, some of them could be bad. But you can see we've already basically worked back our... So we'll head to the bottom of the map. This is right by where your house is, or... Well, it's not really your house, it's just where you started off. And one of these is also a tree. This is where we started, right? So... <clears throat> We're just going to burn these trees down until I find the one I'm thinking about. This is one of the trees I usually would not burn down for a variety of reasons. There it is. I thought it was on the bottom left somewhere. Hello, lady. Apparently she doesn't want to talk. <laughs> I guess we'll go back later. Thanks, old lady. Alright, now we got these things. These are fairly difficult to kill. Because they hop through walls. But I got a heart. Money. Oh, and a stopwatch. Time stops for everyone but Link. These things are teleporters, but we're not strong enough to push them around. And in the rock area, you need bombs rather than... Um... Let's see what's in here. Oh good, bombs! Actually, that's exactly what I was looking for. Now, we should buy the arrow as well, then we'll... It's, it's actually more than one arrow, but, uh... Now that we've got bombs, it sort of unlocks them. Alright. Now, I could definitely get a couple more hearts if I felt like traveling. So we're gonna travel a little bit, see if I can remember where they are. This is the desert. It's pretty awesome. Deserty looking place. Alright, this is a suspicious looking... oops. This is a suspicious looking rock. No, no, you you get more than one arrow, sort of. It's just... they cost you. You'll see. Take that. So now you can get bombs. There we go, see? I found two of the secret hearts so far. Excellent. Now you want to save your bombs, you don't get a whole lot. We stunned them, and then you can use your boomerang to pick stuff up. I say the boomerang is pretty much... ...or beams at you. And he does a lot of damage, but we got him. Oh, it's a, it's a sword. It's white. Well, I think. Oh, we killed another old man. Poor old man. Anyway, we got the white sword. It's like twice as good as the wooden sword. I think this is just a stick that's been painted white, to be honest. But it's still slightly better. We gotta get... Oh yeah, the, the thing in the water is called a... Just 
a little bit further south. Oh, remember this old place? Oh, fairy, yes! Alright, so now we can kill the blue dudes in one hit. I did not die, nice try. And I'm back at full HP, just like that. My skills are gonna come back, it just takes a little while. So what do you think? Should we go to dungeon 2? We could grind for some more money. We could like, try to buy the arrows. We do actually need the arrows at one point. At some point. Oh man, I got hit. Once you get hit, everything changes as soon as you take some damage. Give me that coin. All right, let's uh, let's buy that arrow. There's lots of stuff to buy, but we're doing good so far. The shield can wait. I think actually there's a few stores. Some of them sell for different prices. So we'll see. So now we can kill the orange. What are these guys? They're the moblins, I believe. The orange guys take one hit now instead of two, and the black guys take two instead of three or four. Oh right, yeah, the arrows. So, I forgot. I almost never use the arrows. Now that we have an Every time you use an arrow, it costs you a coin, it costs you a rupee. So, the true, uh... The true use of your cash is to shoot arrows. Oh, come on. They're in lots of other Zelda games. Okay, let's get going. Dungeon 2. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, 80, 80 rupees and 1 rupee per arrow. It is totally scam. Oh no! Snakes! These things are called ropes though. That much I remember. Stupid snakes. Ha! Can't dash at me anymore. Okay. I'd say this dungeon with the white sword should be quite easy. I think you're meant to do this dungeon with the uh, the lousy wooden first sword. But I like to go get that heart and the extra sword a little bit quicker. If you don't have enough hearts, you can't pick up the sword. So if you go there with like four hearts, I think it takes five to actually pick up the sword. If you're just not strong enough. It does have an interesting story, Reaper. You're a kid, just dropped off in the wilderness, trying to save the world. Oh yeah, Boomerang can kill these guys. Certain small enemies, you know. Pretty handy. So now we can see the flashiness that you maybe, mayhaps you've learned by now what that, uh, what that tells you about. Oh good, I forgot about that. Sometimes you kill a certain enemy and it kills all the other ones instantly. It's pretty good. Life link, basically. Oh, come on. I got hit again. I got hit again! I got hit again. <laughs> Alright, so this is the half moon version. 
There was a reason I bought bombs before we came here. Oh. I was hoping to keep my HP a little bit higher. Okay, this is gonna sting a little bit. I'm probably gonna die. This is one of those really bad rooms. Like. Oh, oh! Got it! Yes! Out! We got a magic boomerang, guys! I used to hate that room as a kid. Anyway, our boomerang goes across the screen now. Yes! Yeah, that room has killed me a lot of times. Alright, this thing. I have no idea what the name of it is. Random fireball that moves around stupidly. Technical term. Probably considerably more difficult to fight with your wooden sword, if that's what you want to use. Alright. Battle over. Still not dead. Man, you guys, you gotta give me more credit. I believe those are free bombs. Or that's like, the, that's the first place you can get bombs without buying them. And then once you've got them, they sort of drop regularly. But the game does give you a hint that you may want some bombs. And there's so many snakes on that map that it does... It appears to lag the game out a bit. <laughs> Have faith in me! I only had problems on the first map. Once I got to the second... Once I got through the first dungeon, I've been good. Excellent. Give me the money. Oh good, a hint! The Dongo dislikes smoke. So, you guys, put your cigarettes away. Who's the Dongo, though? And how does smoke help you kill him? Oh yeah, and once you get a blue boomerang, they all get blue boomerangs too. So in case you haven't gotten any suggestions yet, maybe you might need some bombs coming up. Alright, so this this here is Dodongo, if you didn't know. And he doesn't like smoke. So what does that mean? That didn't work. Well, the bombs give you smoke, apparently. So what he really doesn't like is swallowing bombs whole and exploding. He doesn't actually mind smoke so much, it's just the getting exploded part. Anyway. Dungeon done! 